You look like a room full of profile pictures. Perfectly cropped. I don't know what filter y'all are wearing. Y'all got a nice hue about you. I appreciate that. Because, you know, when you say someone looks like they profile picture, that's a compliment. Because a profile picture, that's our best swing in the photography department. That's the best picture you've taken in the last 10 to 15 years. <laughs> I love the profile picture because you could always tell somebody's problem areas because they always crop out their bullshit. Have you noticed that? <laughs> if they got a messed up haircut, their picture starts right at the eyebrow <laughs> and makes its way down. If they ain't been on their crunches, it's getting a little loosey-goosey downstairs, chin, a lot of ceiling. <laughs> A lot of architecture. Is that stained glass back there? That's a beautiful home. Where is that? What area code? And if they're ugly, just the eyes. Have you seen that one? With just the eyes. Did I get a friend request from a ninja? Who are you, eyeballs? There's too many old people on Facebook. Can we just say that? Can we just put that out there? There's too many. Remember when it was, remember when it was just for us and our college friends? Now it's all, they just keep on coming. They're like the illegal aliens of the internet. <laughs> These old people, they just, we need to put up a wall or some trivia. <laughs> Something. Who's Lil Wayne? You don't know, then you don't fucking log on, okay? <laughs> this is young people's town. <laughs> Which one of these is not a dance? You know, just something. I got a friend request from my grandfather. I was like, no, like, I, I'll see you at grandma's house. I don't want to see no old people post like, uh, just uh, finished watching MASH. Like, I don't want to see that. About to wheel a fortune and chill, you know, with my old lady. Just woke up from a nap, praise God. Like, just woke up from a nap again. I'm on a streak, like. I don't want to see that. Listen, here's my thing. Old or young, if you're going to be on social media, you got to understand the rules, the guidelines. Like, simple stuff, like the difference between wall talk and inbox talk. When to slide up in the DMs and when to make it public. It's very simple. Like, wall talk, that's that general stuff. Hey, how you doing? Saw the feed, happy birthday. Want to go to James Davis Comedy Show? Some all the internet can see, and you can breathe easy. Inbox is that nasty stuff that no one should ever know about. That's why I sent a box. <laughs> like, this is an inbox message I may have sent the other day. Hey, baby girl, I had a daydream about you. You were butt naked. I put some Lowry seasoning salt on your ass. <laughs> and licked it off for a midday snack. Send. That's how I send my DMs. Get out there. Wi-Fi, do your thing. Now listen, some of y'all are laughing and others are troubled. But guess what? That was between me and the freak I sent it to. And where was it? In a box for no one else to see. But you can't confuse the two. I remember I went to a house party. Some things went down. It was amazing. The next day, my boy writes on my wall, old girl from last night. Did you hit that? <laughs> on my wall. In my public space. For my aunts and uncles to see. Now the whole feed thinks I'm hoeing. And then my grandpa goes, likes this. <laughs> I don't need that. I don't need that drama, yo. Nah. It's funny, but it's not. 